Novak Djokovic is set to clash with his father. Novak Djokovic has given an update on where he stands on his eventual retirement. The world number two said he was still hungry to keep playing and winning titles in what will come as good news to his fans. But it goes against the wishes of his father Surgeon, who recently said he wanted to see his son end his career as early as next year. Djokovic is making his return at this week's Cincinnati Open after losing to Carlos Alcaraz in the recent Wimbledon final. It marked his first defeat on center court in 10 years and brought up more conversations about the changing of the guard. Despite being beaten by the 20-year-old world number one, the Serb is showing no signs of letting up and rubbished any talk of retirement. I have to recover as quickly as possible and be ready to give my best for the exciting challenges that lie ahead, the 23-time major winner said ahead of his opening match in Cincinnati. If I weren't motivated, I would stop playing. It's exciting that after almost 20 years on tour, to keep that inner fire that drives me to fight for big goals. I want to keep winning tournaments. Djokovic's comments come just weeks after it emerged that his own father said he should look to retire in the next 18 months. Speaking in the Novak Djokovic, Untold Stories documentary, Surgeon said, As far as my wishes for him go, he has already fulfilled them all seven, eight years ago. The rest is this amazing bonus. Tennis is only one segment of his life, not his whole life. I expect him to be recognized for the things he will do after his career ends as well, after he leaves the tennis world, which I hope it will happen next year. And for Novak to slowly but surely, it's not the end, but in a year and a half let's say. The 62-year-old even admitted that Djokovic probably should have stopped playing a while ago given the demands of being a professional tennis player. My wish as a father, I think for some time that he should have stopped working this extremely difficult job. He added, it's physically and mentally challenging and very demanding, with him being fully dedicated for 30 years, and not taking his foot off the gas, there is not much time for other things in life. But Djokovic will be firmly focused on his tennis career for the foreseeable future, starting with his opening match in Cincinnati. The second seed takes on dangerous Spaniard Alejandro Davidovich Fokina, who is full of confidence after reaching his second Masters semi-final last week in Toronto. The 36-year-old will then turn his attention to the U.S. Open, where he is making his first appearance since 2021 due to COVID vaccine travel restrictions. Unjabbed Djokovic couldn't enter the country to compete over the last 24 months but said he wouldn't have done anything differently. Throughout my life I've really developed this kind of mindset that I don't look back with regret on things, he said. Things happening on the outside, the reason I was not here for two years, I have zero regrets. I'm glad to be back. I've had plenty of success on American soil.